you know when you don't have you don't have clothes and you need to borrow from like your get sister out, get out. or your brother then you just get borrow out, their clothes <laughs> thank you <laughs> Show that I really know what I'm doing. Okay, then what are we doing today? We are celebrating International Women's Day. Yep, that's yeah. absolutely right. And for International Women's Day, we've basically been challenged to dress like our mothers mm. for an entire week. Not just like them now, you know. It's dress like them from their youth. Do you look like your mom? <laughs> um, when I was younger, a lot of people would tell me that I look like my mother. Ooh. Yeah. But now that I'm older, I don't really know. I don't really get that comment as often anymore. One of my teachers when I was younger mm. took my mother for my sister. Wow! Yeah, which was such a huge compliment to her. Yeah, she, she got was so damn happy. happy she was eh. So happy. I was like, oh. come to think of it, right? My mom is actually such a strong person. Because since young, she was actually the one who takes care of all of her six siblings. She was the one who raised money by teaching tuition when mm. she was in JC and university to actually pay for her siblings college fees. Oh. I have so much respect for her. So mm -hmm. whenever people ask me, oh who's your who's a prominent woman figure in your life? Do you have a role model? Yeah. I will always say it's my mom. My mother is also someone that is very strong because of all the challenges that she's gone through in her life. She did uh, suffer from breast cancer a few years ago and then uh, in the recent years, things have gotten better for her so she's been like pushing through and just making sure she holds on la. and I feel like uh, that's something that reflects her fighting spirit which I hope she will never lose. So how is your mom's style in general? Like how would you describe it to me? My mother used to be an artist, she used to paint then I saw these old pictures of her like wearing jeans, then she'll put a handprint on her jeans. So she was quite funky la. I think she was quite stylish also. On the other hand right, my mom is very basic. But I see a lot of my mom's photos, she likes to wear skirts. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's going to be a bit of a struggle for me. Finding all the skirts. Finding all the skirts and the feminine... Fe femininity. <laughs> <laughs> Our mom styles are quite different. Yeah, quite different. Yeah. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how this challenge goes. Alright, but before we jump into the challenge, we actually partnered up with Frank by OCBC to give our mothers a little surprise for International Women's Day. We'll be shopping online mm -hmm. and also surprising them at the end of the challenge. So stay tuned for that. Alright, let's go! Start the challenge! Whee! Today, I'll be doing an ebook shoot. I decided to find something slightly more comfortable. Short sleeves, um, because in the ebook kitchen I tend to sweat. This is my outfit. It's a uh, pants that I don't exactly wear very often, but it's quite fitting to the theme that I'm going today, which is a bit vintage compared to what my mom wore. Right, this one is really to my style, a more of a relaxed comfort fit. I'm about to head out, and before that. I'm going to shop for my mum. One of the brands that I found that has exclusive promo under the Frank by OCBC, right? It's Notespark. They are a Singaporean brand that is founded by Eugenia and they specialize in nail wraps. So the founder also actually started the brand to offer busy women an effortless way to have beautiful nails. My mum and I, we've always loved to go pedicures together. So I think this would be a good present for her. Maybe I can open up like a chica spa situation going on. Oh, this is very suitable for her. She loves these type of colors on her feet. Since we're commemorating International Women's Day, it would be more meaningful if we were to pick out a gift from a female-owned brand. One of them stood out for me and that was Essie. The founder, her name is Alicia. Her approach when it came to Essie was to create quality clothing with sustainable and a responsible supply chain. Ooh, look at this dress. Maybe it would be nice if she were a bit more adventurous and she wore something that is not her usual style. Alrighty, let's pick this up. My mom, she's quite picky about tops because even though it's in Singapore, right, she prefers wearing long sleeves. Oh, modern gypsy blouse. This fabric is versatile, absorbent, and breathable. Very important in Singapore's weather. I think it's great that I'm able to get this for my mom to pamper her for once because she's the type that doesn't pamper herself. I'm going to check out with this Frank by OCBC. 
card and enjoy all the promotions so I can get more things for her. It's such a great deal and I'm so excited for the things to come. Today's outfit is quite comfortable and that's why I chose to wear it today because I have a bunch of people over here and we're going to live stream in a bit. The outfit that I'm wearing is a very simple tank top and jeans. And my shoes are finally a match. This tank top that I'm wearing, right, was actually my mother's when she was in her 20s. So I think it means quite a bit to her and I thought it would be nice for me to wear it on the first day to match this outfit. I'm gonna ask my friends over there. Oh, it's so cute! Oh my God. Yeah, I that's like my the, mom. like, wow. knitted aesthetic. Yeah. I think the whole, like, putting the top tucked into the, the jeans. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah! Oh yeah, I can see this retro elements in it. Yeah. In the pants? The pants, you know, like the culottes that I used to wear. But it doesn't feel odd at all. Oh, is I it? it is uh, fashionable. Ooh, <laughs> fashionable. Okay. Hi. Hello. I'm on a shoot with him today. So, can you rate my outfit? Or? You want to do this again? <laughs> you look like you're sick of Chinese New Year and then you just find, find Excuse a... Excuse me, look at this! I showed Menon this. It's solid. It's solid. Ten ten. <laughs> yes. Wow, the yes, sudden... It is. Okay, say what you said just now. No, I said it's it perfect. Yeah, yeah, it well is perfect. Yeah, it is so similar, yeah. Oh, this is silver at KL. Oh. Mm. Do you think I did well with the outfit? Yep. <laughs> Papa say no good. <laughs> Papa say the bag very different. Then he say you're dressing very innocent. I'm not sure I what think that my meant. face is more innocent. <laughs> <laughs> than my face. Your face is more innocent than my face. Yes. Huh? I found a very suitable outfit for today. Today's weather is slightly hot. So I'm gonna wear something that is quite comfortable, quite casual, quite summery feels. Yeah, so it's this picture. It looks like this. You can see the champion logo here. It's something that I can foresee myself wearing out, not just on the beach, which was what my mum did but also to maybe dates. So I didn't have a dress or a skirt that looked like my mother's and this was the only brown one that I had that was longer. And this jacket is actually my mother's jacket. She wore this when she was younger. So it's actually super OG. And um, my hair. So I usually part my hair in the centre but today I did a side parting like in the picture. I know I didn't get the shoes. So the shoes aren't the best match but I don't own any blue colour flats and these were the only flats that I had. I think it fits you perfectly. Oh, so 9 out of 10? I would say so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and to be honest, this is um, one of my favourite dress, dresses, I would say. Oh. The kind of style that I like to, to wear. Oh, I Even see. until now. Hello. Hello. I need you to rate my outfit. Rate your outfit? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's nice. You think it's nice? Yeah. Is that all? You look like a... I don't know, man. You're going for a picnic. Oh, picnic. Yeah. Okay, can I show you a photo? Oh. How do you think I... How, how well do you think I recreated this look? I think you didn't do a good job. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, she looks like she's going to the beach. Oh. You look like... Yeah, I don't know, you're going botanic gardens. Well, the colours are, the colours are there. Yep. A seven. A very boring answer lah. I know it's a very boring answer, but... Because she did, seven. You know, she got, she got the colours right. Mm -hmm. uh, she got the denim. Uh, but she didn't really get the loose fit of the dress. Yep. And maybe the shoes aren't the same colour as well. Yep. But, you know, good attempt. Hello, hello. It's day three. And right now, I'm actually looking through some of my mom's old photos. The weather has been quite cold these few days so I am going to wear something similar to this but then obviously this type of clothing will not be suitable in Singapore's weather so I'm going to do like a little summer take okay, this is version 1 of the outfit this skirt right as expected is actually very thick, very hot. I think I might change the skirt. Okay, this is my second choice of skirt. So it's a lot easier to walk in and not feel so uncomfortable. Although I'm not 100% feeling myself, 
as compared to the checkered skirt. I think for practicality's sake, I would probably go with this. Hello, I'm at Lens Cart and I'm getting ready for a live stream and turns out my mama's clothes are live stream appropriate. So this is my outfit for today. I do want to say though, it turns out that my mother's shoe fashion right, is very different from mine. So I ended up wearing sneakers because I really just don't have the shoes that she has. So I'm going to ask a very kind lady who has been assisting me to rate my outfit. Hello! <laughs> so what do, you, what do you think? How do you rate? Eight. Eight? Yeah, why? It looks uh, like... Uh, more feminine. Oh, yeah. Did, is this one the photo that I showed? Yeah. Is it feminine? Yeah. Yeah, this one. Yes. Zane is here with me today. Hello. We're going to live stream very soon. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, actually, it matches what? Okay. So, how would you rate this in similarity out of like 10? I would say a good 8. Wow! 8, eight out of 10. Okay. Mainly because it's like 1. Point uh, for the color, it's not exactly like I know. You know. Okay, this is my look for today. You can see that the blouse here has a slight puff sleeve. And then for the skirt, I went with this um, white colored skirt. It's a little meshed. My plan is to look slightly elegant today. It is raining today, and I don't think I'm going to head out. So instead, I'm going to do a little dress up at home and I'm going to try and replicate my mother's outfit. And I don't have a white shirt for some reason. I thought it's like the most basic clothing article but I just don't have a white shirt. I'm going to try and borrow a white shirt. So I have a challenge and it's a clothing challenge but I don't have the clothing article I need and I was wondering if you might have it. Oh my god, it's right here! Thank you. This Big Brother vibes. <laughs> like, you know when you don't have you don't have clothes and you need to borrow from like your sister get out, get out. or your brother, then you just get borrow out, their clothes. Bye. Thank you! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, do you don't wear you never wear like skirts, man. This is not your style. Drop it. Yep. <laughs> it's too formal and looks a bit too old on you. I think it's a bit different from what your mom's wearing though. Like, are you colorblind? <laughs> the, the, the top is like different. <laughs> Conclusion, your mom pulled it off better. <laughs> Good morning! Oh, it's finally the last day. Um after a whole week of dressing up I think it's something that I haven't quite got used to because I'm someone who likes to dress down wear my oversized tee and get it done with you know, as long as I wear clothes outside it doesn't matter right <laughs> but anyway today's inspiration is my mom's graduation photo this girl is for my mom so I have to see that the type of clothing that she has in her wardrobe compared to what she has in her babies are about the same. I'm actually loving this outfit a lot. Yeah, this is an outfit that I would be very happy to wear. Today's outfit that I have to prep, right, is a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. And it's quite unique because my mother actually put prints on top of prints. I've got a sling bag, shorts, a pair of sunglasses and it even looks alike. Okay, let's see how this would look in a picture. Was this your favourite outfit? Oh, uh, you, you can say that it's my favourite outfit. I feel that it even looks quite professional. Oh. Yeah, and you know, the, the, usually you go for graduation, you, you have the white top and then black skirt. But I want something different like a brown skirt, so... Oh. It looks oh. nice. Intruder. <laughs> how do you rate how well I recreated this? Um, I guess yours is less formal, you know, less it's it's a bit more casual. Mm. So you can wear it. Is it because it's crumpled? Maybe if you iron if you remember to iron, maybe it'll look less casual. <sighs> then maybe you have like achieved your task. So remember last week I asked you for pictures of Dada? Mm -hmm. 
and um, I have the pictures with me now but I added something to it and I want to show you what it looks like <laughs> Okay <laughs> Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Very close. Uh, you know, the pants, the mm -hmm. t-shirt, Mickey Mouse, all this, and then the poles, the shoe, all these are very close. Lah. Even mm. the back, I think, red color, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so that's very close. Nice, not? Huh? Of course, it's nice. Both my talents. Yeah. Since I have been working at home and didn't go out, I decided to go on Instagram to ask on my close friends list or what they think about my recreation of my mum's photo. Actually, it's very similar to what you used to usually wear. It's very similar, even the material, you know, those are soft cotton. This is a little surprise that I have for you because uh, it's in celebration of International Women's Day. So this is for you. Thank you. Hey, I love the material. So this is something not very, not practical, but I like. Yeah, and because you always get practical things, right? Yeah, so, so this maybe is something you can get something a bit different. Pretty. Okay. Chogu. Nice one. Nice one. It's like a chong sound. Nice one. It's nice, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. The material very. Yeah, it's not warm though. Yeah, it's this size, okay. It is, mm -hmm. eh? It's, it's, it fits you very well. Do you like it? Yeah, of course I like it. This is for you. Huh? Wow. Oh, I love this. Okay. Oh, this is the color that, uh, that yeah, I, I would wear. Wow. This is something new to me. It's, it's pretty puffy, the sleeves. So, um, what do you think? Does it suit me? I think it suits you. It suits the me. length also suits the you. Length. Right there. Okay. Can you twirl around? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Mm, this is another one. So do you know how we always go for pedicures? We have the, you know like this, UV lamp. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it looks nice actually. The gel manicure. Yeah. Right? yeah. Actually, oh, I didn't think that this cut, this would look nice. I was kind of skeptical, but then it turned out. It should turn out nice. So nice, so elegant. Very yeah. good, very good. Success. Yay! <laughs> challenge guys <laughs> it was quite challenging for me because of how I really just don't have the right footwear to match the pictures that my mother had lah. but uh, it was also very fun because I was trying to piece together different items that I had in my wardrobe right mm. to match the clothing that she wore for me it was a bit challenging as well mm -hmm. because uh, even though my mom's clothing were generally quite basic easy to find yeah um, in my in my wardrobe, there's actually not many clothing. Mm. So what I did was basically pluck inspiration from oh. where the, let's say, the origination of the photo, where it came from. Oh. Because a lot of the photos were actually in overseas, which mm. was in winter, mm. which is not applicable for Singapore. Yeah. So we also did get our mom's gifts, right? What mm. did you get for your mother? I got a blouse that I thought that she might like. Uh, because now she likes looser fitting clothes. Mm. So I went with that idea, that style. Mm. I also got this uh, nail kit from, right. from Notes Park. So you have mm. this UV light. And then oh. there's also like some uh, stick-ons. Mm. So I think she can have a little spa day. Oh, like her home manicure. Yes. Okay. So I got a dress for my mother. And um, this was a long dress with long sleeves. Oh. And it was quite tight-fitting. So it's a bit different from her usual style now. Oh. Yeah, just something to change things out a bit. It's like an option for her. Mm. La. Yeah. Now that I think about it, maybe I should get my sister something else. My mm. sister is very headstrong. She's a very strong and independent woman and mm. she shows a lot of strength in what she does. Maybe I'll also drop her a surprise. This sounds good actually. Yeah. Yeah, I mean women is not just your mom's, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone around you that yeah. you feel that you wanna acknowledge and you mm. want to remember. Thank you for watching this episode of Zula Tries and thank you Frank by OCBC for making this video possible. This International Women's Day, treat the amazing women in your life to a surprise with exclusive promotions that Frank by OCBC card members can enjoy. If you like this video, comment down below and tell us which is your favourite outfit. Of course, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time! Bye! Bye. Happy, Happy International, International Women's Day! Day.